2100 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by ali ahmed first the headlines federal cabinet in its meeting in islamabad today with prime minister in the chair approved 10 billion rupees package for relief of people The government has decided to open 2000 youth stores under Kamyab Jawan program across the country. Imran Khan says the government is committed to provide every possible facility to business community to boost economic activities in the country. Beijing pledges to enhance coordination with Islamabad to ensure safety of pakistani nationals in china in the wake of coronavirus outbreak in occupied kashmir routine life remained paralyzed on the occasion of martyrdom anniversary of prominent kashmiri liberation leader mohammad maqbool but today in the kabaddi world cup matches australia beat azerbaijan germany defeated england while India won the match against Sierra Leone in Lahore today. Now to news in detail. Federal cabinet has given approval or to a subsidy of 2 billion rupees per month for a period of 5 months to utility stores corporation for provision of edible items of daily use to the people at affordable rates. Meeting of the federal cabinet was held in Islamabad today with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. Special Assistant to Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan giving a briefing to media in Islamabad today said this package will help ensure availability of flour, sugar, rice and pulses among other edible items at utility stores corporation outlets at reasonable rates. The Utility Stores Corporation has been further directed that 20 kg flour bag should be sold at 800 rupees while pulses at 15 to 20% less prices than market rates. Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan said the government is also going to open 2000 youth stores under Kamyab Jawan program. She said the measure is being implemented through interest free loans benefiting 400,000 people through direct employment. The Utility Stores Corporation will also set up 12 cash and carry stores in major cities of the country. The Utility Stores Corporation will also help ensure supply of items to 50,000 tandoors and small restaurants across the country. Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan said ration cards will be issued before the start of Ramadan through which deserving people will get items at 25 to 30% less prices than market rates. The cabinet also gave approval to lift ban on import of sugar to ensure its smooth supply. Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan said a monitoring committee of the cabinet has been constituted that will monitor the deserving people to get benefit of the utility stores package. It will also update the progress to the prime minister and also analyze the impediments in its way. The special assistant said the prime minister has directed his team to devise a mechanism to reduce the prices of gas and electricity in phase-wise manner to reduce the burden of inflation on people. She said that under SR's free support program, the government will provide 750 rupees for male students and 1000 rupees per female student. She said under SR's nutrition program which will be launched next month 20000 women will get benefit and it will be further expanded in future. She said SR's langar khana program under which 100 more langar khanas will be established this year across the country with public private partnership. She said that the cabinet also directed to prepare a comprehensive strategy to control the prices of electricity and gas along with the causes of rising prices. Speaking on the occasion, Minister for Religious Affairs P. Nurul Haq Qadri said the cabinet today recorded approval to Hajj policy 2020. He said this year the Hajj quota of intended pilgrims from Pakistan is 179,200. He said 60% pilgrims will offer Hajj through government scheme while 40% through private tour operators. He said selecting private tour operators is as per the directions of Supreme Court. 
Nurul Haqqadri said the Hajj package through government scheme is 490,000 rupees for intending pilgrims of North region and 480,000 rupees for those from southern region of the country. He said the Saudi government has levied an additional fee of 300 riyals for Hajj visa and 110 riyals for mandatory health insurance. The minister said last year the government reimbursed an amount of 5.50 billion rupees to the pilgrims and this year efforts are being made to minimize the burden on intending pilgrims. Nurul Haqqadri said 22,000 Pakistanis benefited from Road to Makkah project in Islamabad last year. And this year talks are underway to extend it to Lahore, Peshawar, Karachi and Quetta. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said ensuring ease of doing business and promoting tourism are the foremost priorities of the government. He was talking to Managing Director of Prominent Advisory and Consultant Company, McKinsey Kevin Sneeder in Islamabad today. Imran Khan said the government is committed to provide every possible facility to the business community to promote economic activity in the country. Minister for Parliamentary Affairs Azam Khan Savati says 92% complaints on Pakistan Citizens Portal have been resolved, which is a big achievement. Responding to a question in Senate, the minister said there is a need of improving institutions like NAB and FBR for ease of doing business in the country. This is Radio Pakistan. National Assembly held discussion on economy and inflation in the country. Initiating the debate, PMLN leader Khwaja Asif said, The nation is confronting the crucial issue of inflation, which must be addressed on emergency basis. He said the beneficiaries of wheat and sugar crisis should be held accountable. Responding to his points, Minister for Economic Affairs Ahmad Azhar said, The government is striving to revive the country's economy through tough and crucial decisions. Criticizing the government, Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto said, IMF deal has damaged the country's economy, which is basic reason behind the price hike of basic food items. Bilawal Bhutto said protecting economic rights of the nation is responsibility of the government. In Muzaffargarh, eight people were killed and five others injured in a building collapse incident this evening. According to rescue sources, four children and a woman are among the killed victims. China has expressed appreciation for the Pakistani Senate's resolution that showed full solidarity and support to China's battle with the novel coronavirus outbreak. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Gang Shuang said in Beijing today the resolution expressed its appreciation to China for having treated Pakistani citizens, especially students in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, with protection and comfort. He said China stands ready to strengthen cooperation with Pakistan and other members of the international community to combat the epidemic. In occupied Kashmir, complete shutdown was observed today to mark the 36th martyrdom anniversary of prominent Kashmiri liberation leader Muhammad Maqbul Bhatt. Call for the strike was given by the All Bodies Hurriyat Conference Chairman Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwais Umar Farooq, Lead Hurriyat Forum, the Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front and other prominent pro-freedom leaders and organizations. Makbul Bhatt was hanged in New Delhi's Tihar Jail on this day in 1984 for his active role in pro-freedom activities and buried in the jail premises. In Kabaddi World Cup matches, Australia beat Azerbaijan, Germany won the match against England, while India beat Sierra Leone at the Punjab Stadium in Lahore today. In today's first Kabaddi match, Australia beat Azerbaijan with 51-24 points, while in second match of Kabaddi World Cup 2020, Germany beat England with 49-28 points. In today's third match of the Kabaddi World Cup 2020, India beat Sierra Leone with 45-18 points. And finally, the weather. Rain with snowfall over the hills is expected at isolated places in Islamabad, Upper Khyber Bakhtunkhwa, Northern Balochistan, Gilgit-Baltistan and Kashmir during the next 24 hours. 
However, cold and dry weather is likely to prevail in other parts of the country. And uh, with the end of the news, the headlines. Federal Cabinet in its meeting in Islamabad today with Prime Minister in the chair approved 10 billion rupees package for the relief of the people. The government has decided to open 2,000 youth stores under Kamyab Jawan program across the country. Imran Khan says the government is committed to provide every possible facility to business community to boost economic activities in the country. Beijing pledges to enhance coordination with Islamabad to ensure safety of Pakistani nationals in China in the wake of coronavirus outbreak. In occupied Kashmir, routine life remained paralyzed on the occasion of martyrdom anniversary of prominent Kashmiri liberation leader Muhammad Maqbul Bhatt. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk. And for the live video streaming of our bulletins, visit the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.